interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now, and on the hill, Tyler Anderson. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Mookie Betts. That's the ball. The leadoff batter as he looks one at ball one. And now two and That's the ball. Got to be real careful here, too. Two and oh. He's hunting for his pitch. Is in for a strike. Anderson ready to work. That's hard hit on the line. And that's just foul. Ball. foul. Now it's Count three and two. Bounce back to the mound. One out in the top of the first. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. 0-1. Oh One down, base is empty. Hit. Foul ball still, low and two. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. And he deals. Now fly ball to right center. Moniak on the move to the alley. Pulls it in on the run. That is the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And on the mound now, Shohei Otani. What should we keep an eye on here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Out.
outside. Outside, that's a ball. You know him, a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. And now the no, count that's is down. even. Ball. Righty delivers. Right side. And it goes foul, just ball. foul. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Right hander kicks deals. Hey! And one out now. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. That's off the That's mark. The ball. ball one. Otani, one a out. former rookie of the year. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a splitter, a cutter, and he occasionally uses a curve. And the right-hander deals. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. Takes it himself. Oh. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're that in missed, the box the and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And yeah, the righty deals. 2-0. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Taylor under it. He's there. He's got it. And that'll do it. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. Second inning, set to go. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, everyone. There's the strike. One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros yeah. on AstroTurf, and he never hit into a double play. Left hand hitter waits. And that one, one is two. inside. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, the sky's the limit on that potential. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But I think the human umpire calling balls and strikes. It's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah, what? In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Strike two. two. All right, now he may have not liked no either balls, of those two first strikes. two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Hey! Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Off to a strong start, Singy. 
as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but it'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And now it's Max Muncy. First no, that missed. That's a ball. Misses. No score here in the second. On the ground. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Everything came together for him. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man at second here with two away. Chris Taylor down. And That's the pitch a, ball a little low. bit low. Ball one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. Right that two. clips the corner. Muncie at second with two down. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A one two again. And now Ball. two and two. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next offering Down is downstairs. Miguel Rojas waiting for a turn at the plate. They all pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ward sizing it up. Squeezes it. And that'll do it. One left for L.A. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Bottom of the second. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Swing and a tap for the rolls foul. And a pitch. They say it went. Oh, two. The next off oh. misses, and it's one and two. Off the two outside and two. edge, and now the count is two and two. strikes he goes leadoff man retired here in the second Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate out to short Rojas zips it across got it. already two out here in the home half of inning number two 
Brandon Drury to the plate. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. No, that missed. First That's a ball. Pitch, just misses. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball left side. Hit left side. And it's a one, two, three inning. Angels held in check. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, on to the third inning. Miguel Rojas at the play. Anderson back to work. Rojas, 34-year-old vet, and they traded for him earlier this year. The wind of the pitch. Ah! For a strike. Oh, a two down. Just misses ball. the mark outside the zone. It's One ball, take. two strikes. Ball still a one and two count. The pitch. And it's even ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it back. Two, two. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing at a ball, left in center field, and it falls. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, ball. it's still hit hard enough One ball, no to strike. dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. For a strike and a count one and one. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep oh, the ball that's off the high. ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Swing and a miss. And two balls, two strikes. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And this is it's a strikeout. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone. It just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ground ball right side could be two. Got Good him. Feed. That's one. Oh. And that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. Rangifo hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. 
First offering, nope. misses the mark. And a pitch. Misses outside. outside. Ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. Right. Cold night like tonight. Last Two balls, thing you one strike. Hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Yeah, there's That's the ball. The ball. 3-1. And the pitch. Jumps at the wall, and he brings it back. And next for the Angels, number 12. and that's in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit ah! those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering. No, misses. that missed. And the count one and two. Oh, two count. You got the one, two. Expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And a one, two. This one popped up. Rojas pulls it down, and there's two gone. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Thice measures six feet even, 215 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2016. Yeah. There's a strike. That one missed. Oh. One and one. The 1-1. One, one. Yeah. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Straight retired here to start the game. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Freddie Freeman. Lifted in the air down the left side. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Chris, when you watch Freddie Freeman hit, the ability to make contact and slug, he's kind of the ultimate player for the modern game. Tries What's to check got? his swing. That will look to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing according to Eric Summerskill. The batter now will be Will Smith. Glide out his first time. Yeah, his ability to drive the ball to left center field, that's when you always know Freddie Freeman is dialed in. We're getting hard line oh, yeah. drives 
over the shortstop's head or short hopping the wall of left center. You better look out. And it's one and one. One, one. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That one felt good, and that gives them a lead. It's one nothing. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. I think he was anticipating the hitter to be caught off guard by how slow that changeup was. But to his credit, very patient, waited for it, and he turned it around. Here's Shohei Otani. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Good eye right oh. there. One and oh. Next nope, pitch is that's inside. It. And that's ball two. Anderson. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched That's up a, ball. a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. He has in for a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in, and you're not as focused and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track and then you have a great show uh, so perhaps it's the same with him nobody really wants their rhythm broken up but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up foul ball and it remains a full count but why to kick the pitch Line drive, caught! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Caught looking his first time up. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Jack Swing went around. No ball. Oh, two. two strikes. Good eye right That's there. That's a ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the shortstop, number nine. And here it comes. It's in there. And it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict. 0-2. Check swing, went around. And it's 0-2. Now one and two. One and two. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Next offering is fouled back. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. 
And a 1-2. And a 1-2. That's the ball. This is to even the count. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. The 2-2 two -two now. And now the count filled up count. three and two. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The pitch. That one misses. That's ball four. Take Solely your base. Off walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And next for the Angels, Mickey Monia. Grounded out his first time up. in there on one there it was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it here's the O2 one ball two strikes It's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action. And it just punches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Trout, the next no, hit ball. takes high for ball one. This guy one with out. light tower power. The Angels still looking for their first hit in this one. On the ground, right side. Rojas for oh. one. What a okay. double play that was. Inning over. So they make short work of them there. To the top of the fifth we go. It's the Dodgers one and the Angels nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's right. head. And there's the strike. Nowadays, with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And he goes airborne to make the catch. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1 so far. In an area that goes ha! unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Rendon, throw to first. Taylor out of the play. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he's already singled in this game. Back when you played... It wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the oh metrics and, and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Towards first. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers down in order, but they're on top, 1-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The right-hander back to work. 
And that one Ball. off the outside, outside edge. What you got? Appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. The one one. Way out front for strike two. One two is the count. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Two and He's two. He's going to have to battle with two strikes. The two two. In the dirt. Smith gathers, throws That's it out. in time. And a drop third strike leads to the first out. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now it's Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. That one That's off the ball the down. And it's 1 and 0. Anthony Rendon, an outstanding player in college. He went to Rice, the sixth overall pick by the Nationals in the 2011 draft, and then eventually signed with the Angels as a free agent. Don't forget saying he was part of that Nats team that won it all in 2019. Lifted in the air, out to left. Margot settles under it. And there's two away. Brandon Drury will hit next. Grounded out his first time. Chopper rolls foul. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Going two now. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And makes the grab. And that will end the inning. He's through five without allowing a hit. Five innings complete. It's the Dodgers one and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Manuel Margot. Margot, in his seventh season, 28 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Anderson back to work. Outside corner, there's a strike. 0 oh 1. Fastball. That's inside. That's the ball. There. One the other way, calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Mookie now. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strikes. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats no, it. That's a hit. Great try there. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Pitch in the dirt. One and oh. One and oh. For Freeman Singy, all the hardware, the multiple All-Stars, an MVP, he's won Silver Sluggers, a Gold Glove, and then finally, go? in 2021, a World Series championship of the Braves. And he deals. Mookie on the move. Cut on 
and miss. One, two. What a second great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. But with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, man. Really good, clean, stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Look out! Take your base, that got him. him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. That's a scary one when it's rising up above the ladders. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, Boogie, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Pulls that one foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Jake what you got? Now we'll look at the ah, and he punches him after he went around. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. So first and second with two outs. Shohei Otani digs in now. And that one wrapped foul. comes the 01. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Betts, the lead runner out at second. Freeman at first, two out of the inning. Very one high two. that one. It's a ball and two strikes. down and in. Oh. He's gone off speed. He needs to two, elevate two. here with two strikes out of the zone. Two on, two outs. In That's the ball. Three and two the count. They got a full count. Hernandez waits on deck. Pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that'll take your base, ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Foul ball. Two outs. Bases are full. That one misses. Ball, that's down. One and one. Action in the pen down there. Robert Stevenson up and loosening in the pen. Wants. Getting cranked up as well. Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. 
Come out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tyler Anderson departs, and he had a tough time keeping them in the ball game today. We'll get a new arm when we come back. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Robert Stevenson. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So two down. Now here is Max Muncy. And the first low, pitch misses low. for ball one. Stevenson, 30 years old now. They got him off of waivers earlier this season. At the belt and fires. Yeah, that's a little that high. That missed. That's a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Now <laughs> two and one. Nasty 2-0 two slider two there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. The 2-1. That one fouled off. Two two down. Swings and misses gets the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Dodgers with the big blast, a grand slam, and the lead is now five nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now, Luis Rangifo. The pitch. And that one wow. almost got him. You know, these Angels just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Margot makes the grab. And there's one down. And here is number 12. He popped out his first time. That misses ball. the zone. And that is one ball, ball no one. strikes. Right hander kicks deals. And a count one and two. The Halos hitless so far in the game. Tap back to the mound. Sends it to first. Out. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the Angels catcher, Matt Dice. He's 0 for 1. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. What? For a strike, 0 and 1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there.
Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Left-hand batter waits. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So he's through six, no hit innings now. We're through six full. It's the Dodgers five and the Angels nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. Leading off, Chris Taylor. And a pitch. He catches the corner for a strike. in there that is strike two struck him out swinging slider got him for strike three wow just great bite to that slider broke hard out of the zone and he just couldn't hold up the swing you know as a hitter that pitch is really hard to take and there's just not much you can do with it you know that but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire One -oh. Up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. <laughs> Fouled off. He was late. There's a 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next Ball. pitch misses outside, and the count is even two and two. ball left side he'll see another flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive foul ball another 2-2 upcoming really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next 2-2 now Swing and a base hit. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did right. it perfectly. Margot stands in now and watches strike one. Right-hander deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Rojas, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. There might be two to second for one. Nope. Over to first. No, he's safe. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie now. 
Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I'll tell you what. One and oh, out. That one rides up and in. Straighten him up a little bit. The 1 0. -oh. Looked like it was ball. a little bit up. 2 0. -oh. Tua. Margot runs. Hits no, that misses. missed. That's the ball. Throw to second. Peggy, wow. he's gone. And that'll end the inning. They'll try to get in the scoring position, but a great pitch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, number nine. The pitch. Check Did swing. He go? Now we'll look down to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And out number one on the grab. Now the number two hitter, Mickey Moniak. other way Marco calls it in and there's two away here's Mike Trout still no hits on the board one out away from taking the no-no into the eight first off oh. misses the mark Two down, nobody on. Ball! He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Ball. misses down and away. The 3 1. Late the swing there. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. The Angels yet to pick up a hit here. Three two ball four. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You can stomach a two out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. Then at first, Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And takes no, that's ball down. Ball ball. Now, if he's going to steal second, do you want him to go early in the count? That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A swing and a miss down on strikes picks up strikeout number seven angels one still looking at that five nothing deficit ready to begin the eighth and now it's mookie betts 
he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Here comes a pitch. And a good uh -uh, idea. Ball. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Next one that misses. Missed. That's a ball. Two and one. Strike two. Two and you know, two. These the Dodgers, count. simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. And Betts oh. is gone. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Yeah. Calling it bat can be a little bit of a dance, strike one here, but a few more pitches, we'll see how it turns out. one is lifted in the air Moniak settles under this one makes the grab two down two outs base is empty and here's the catcher Will Smith he's already homered here in this one gets out of the way one ball no strikes next pitch That's is ball. outside two balls no strikes hey. ball in there for a strike Dodgers go down quietly, but they hold a 5 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. And this lineup is still hitless as we begin the eighth. And a pitch. This to third, stops it on a slide, throw to first, and that you keeps the no-hitter alive. Wow. And he's now just five outs away. He's got a real shot at this thing. Yeah, Boog, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Brandon Drury. There's a strike. Singing Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, one he's and one. doing something that we've never seen done before. And just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters right. in the game in just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. Got him swinging. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. 
Trenghifo. Nope. Up ball. Here for the third time as he lays one off the side. Ball one. <laughs> Next offering is fouled back. Yeah. Now one and two. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous MVP. And the first unanimous AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Frank Robinson. Kicks and deals. And look out. That hit him. That Take one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Number 12. Ball, up that's up. Third time and takes ball one. Offering is in for a strike. One and one. Ball, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. Line drive. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Angels lead one. It's 5 nothing. Now on the bump, Jimmy Hergit. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. A wind and a pitch. And that one nope. just Ball. missed off the outside edge. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one just oh. misses. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty delivers. And another ball. Full count. All right. looking. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. First pitch That's a ball. doesn't find Outside. the zone. Herget, a 6-3 righty. He features a slider, a sinker, a slurve, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. He's yeah. in there, and the count one and one. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Pitch misses. Oh. Two balls and a strike. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right I where you do. Clips the corner. It's two and two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's Full count. the swing play. Full 
tried to kick his swing door. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. Joe McDonald rings him up. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But you're still winning the ball game. At least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Here I want Muncie at the dish. No balls, one strike. Deal one. Swings here and blasts one left field back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job on the other side. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Oh, yeah. In there, and it's 0-1. It's 0 and 1. Muncie on its second with two down. Ah! It clips the corner. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Right handed reliever. Stay alive. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that's the inning. So we'll head to the bottom of the ninth with a chance at history on the line. Back in a moment. All set for the bottom of the ninth at the play. Matt Thice. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. Otani back to work. You can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now. You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Three outs from a no-hitter. And that is cut on and missed. Oh, and two. The ball's two strikes. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command in both locations. The 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One, one ball, two strikes. Almost got him. That's off the ball. That's the ball. Two and two. Check Did he go? Tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. offering his foul back. Three and two. Payoff pitch. That's and ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number nine. For strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And 
now it's oh. even up. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next off, no, that's up. Fly ball to right. Hernandez settles underneath it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's one away. Just two more outs to go in this bid for a no-hitter. And physically, there's probably some fatigue, but mentally, which might be what's most important, he seems as strong now as he's been all game. I'm sure the adrenaline is fully ramped up at this point as well. One of their last chances to break up the no-no. Hey, yeah. Clips the zone. Strike one. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. And delivers out. That's the ball. One, two. Good down looking. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. And the no hit bid comes down to this. One more out to get. And first offering is fouled off. A chance for the no-no right here. Hot shot to third. And that does it. It's a no-hitter. Congratulations to him. He was dominant all game long. Got some really nice play behind him defensively. It seemed like everyone was on board pulling for him to finish the no-hitter. But most importantly, get the W for the team.